Who is Sukumo Hataki? Sukumo Hataki was the father of Kakashi, Sukumo Hataki was feared as the white fang of the hidden leaf and in Naruto chapter 425, titled Hataki Kakashi. Sukumo was referenced much earlier in the series however, with Granny Chio in Sand Village recognizing Kakashi as a descendant of Kanoha's white fang in chapter 253. It's implied that Sukumo was the ninja solely responsible for killing Sasori's parents in Second Great Ninja War, sending Sasori into a deep depression and mental trauma that would only lead him to join Akatsuki. Sukumo Hataki's power was feared by every single nation by the time of the Third Great Shinobi War. It is stated in the fourth official Naruto databook that Sukumo's power managed to surpass that of the three legendary Sanin. That means in his prime he was stronger than Jiraiya, Orochimaru, and Tsunade all by himself. Simply being stronger than the power of Orochimaru himself put Sukumo around the level of the three or four tailed chakra cloak used by Naruto. Even more surprising is that as far as readers know, Sukumo was able to reach this level of strength without the aid of powerful techniques like Sage Mode or any broken KK Genkai. Some of this talent was clearly passed down to Kakashi who was a child prodigy at a young age. Kakashi, proved himself a genius like Sukumo and idolized him, desiring to become just as great a ninja as his father. His wife died when Kakashi was very young Sukumo witnessed his son successfully passing the entrance exam to enter the academy. Afterwards, he and Kakashi met Mike Dai and his son Mike Guy. Sukumo asked Mike Guy to be friends with his introvert son Kakashi in the ninja academy, and after some time Kakashi began to openly question Mike Guy's worth as a ninja with his weak aptitude for ninjutsu, Sukumo warned Kakashi to not underestimate Mike Guy as he may someday grow stronger than Kakashi, that shows Sukumo was a very intelligent and farsighted man. He loved his only dearly. Often picking him up at the end of the day after Kakashi was done playing with his friends. Despite his tremendous fame and power as a ninja, he was a very humble man, which made Kakashi truly look up to and idolize him, the death of his father is also one of the reasons why Kakashi later respects his father. During the initial stages of Kakashi's life in the Naruto series, he believed that the success of the mission was the only thing that mattered. This changed after he met Abito, who believed that a comrade's life was more important than the mission. Later, Kakashi realized that his father did the right thing, and he began respecting him as a great shinobi and as a father. In Naruto Shippuden We saw that Kakashi's father stayed in limbo after his death to seek forgiveness from his son, fans are aware of the trauma Kakashi went through and how he managed to beat all odds despite his circumstances. Kakashi admitted that he was proud of his father for the sacrifice he made, and Sukumo thanked him as well, the deep meaning of his life is very tragic. Even with all of his power, Sukumo Hataki could not escape the fate of a soldier. Many of Naruto's central themes deal with one's ninja way, or their guiding morality and the conflict created when that morality is pitted against the harsh reality of war. Sukumo exemplified this when his own moral compass doomed him. On a high-profile mission, Sukumo ran into trouble and made the decision to abandon his mission in order to save the lives of his comrades, something that he was eventually shunned and ridiculed for when he returned to the Leaf Village. Due to this hatred he experienced, Sukumo fell into a deep depression and eventually took his own life, which had a major effect on the life of his son Kakashi. Despite all of his power, fame, and accolades, Sukumo's undoing came from those who he fought to protect turning their backs on him. Welbin looked upon as a hero to the Leaf Village if he had let his friends die along the way. Other famous ninjas like the 4th Hokage and Jiraiya became heroes most notably due to their violent actions and the destruction they were capable of inflicting on enemy ranks. Sukumo could have easily been one of these noble and lauded ninjas, but the path of a ninja is not an easily trodden one. His death set an example for his son Kakashi to later learn from, and teach Naruto the value of camaraderie, something that set the tone for the entire series and established the dynamic between Naruto, Sakura, and Sasuke from the beginning. Although Sukumo was only briefly shown, may have very well had one of the greatest influences of any single ninja on the events of the story as they played out. Sukumo Hataki's power may have been awe-inspiring and feared, but the father of Kakashi Hataki was the first ninja in Naruto to demonstrate that true strength comes from the belief in one's ninja way.